what's up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music i really appreciate you uh clicking on this video and checking it out we're going to work on some muting techniques uh focused you know a lot on the left hand but i'm also going to sh show you some some ways to dig in muting with the right hand as well just great stuff to focus on that uh you might not focus on enough i don't know i don't know you but uh thinking of myself here so anyway we'll zoom in and break it down also thanks for supporting marty music martymusic.com, signing a newsletter, all that. Thank you. Uh, let's go. Well, actually, the first thing I want to do is just, just cup lightly the strings here to mute the strings. You know, and take any piece of music and play along with your right hand like you're playing percussion. Cupping it with all my fingers here. So then the next thing is we'll just, you know, you can practice on the E string with your index finger. So you're using the tip of your in index finger to hit the note, but the rest of your fingers are lightly muting the string still. So you could strum the whole guitar. So then the next thing is you can go between two strings, and I like to use my pinky a lot when I'm getting that percussive thing. It gives me the most muting in between the fingers, right? Because my whole hand can kind of come down. So that's the next thing. You're still... Then with that technique, try some of the other strings. And like, for instance, when you get to the A string, the tip of your index finger is also going to be muting the low E. So in this kind of situation, well, where I'm already up to the G string, either my, either your thumb can, can help uh, mute the lower string, but then also you can just kind of target the upper strings here. And once again, I like the index to pinky for this muting kind of concept. So I'm literally strumming the guitar, you know. So if I look at that, I can see I'm strumming starting on that D string, the tip of my index finger. I'm not pressing down on it, I'm pressing on the G string, but the tip of my index finger is muting that. And the tip of my finger is hitting that note. And then I'm not pressing down, but I'm feeling the strings underneath the finger, but not pressing down, so you get this. You know, and then you can get little triads going too, without muting. I'm strumming that guitar. So with that left hand concept, Kalima, um, 
Then you also have palm muting, right hand muting. You don't get that same thing as that, but you can get rakes. Like if I'm going to do a bend on the B string, I'm not going, which is great, but you're hearing a lot more than that. You're hearing much more of a punch, right? Especially with a little bit of ambiance. So I can dig in with my palm right up to the note that I want to bend. On the G string. That's great, but sometimes you want. And I'm emphasizing it. So here's another thing when you're just playing, like you're feeling it and you're playing, your muting isn't something you want to be consciously thinking about technique wise, but it's something to like maybe take 20 minutes and just practice. And do that every once in a while and let it seep in through osmosis into your playing playing when you're playing and feeling it and letting the music come out. So, the muting tips for you. All right, there it was. Thank you again. Now, feel free to leave uh, comments below, like with song requests or anything else. And if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here. And then, once again, the greatest support is making sure it's Marty Music and even signing the newsletter at martymusic.com. So thank you again, and I can't wait to see you uh, hopefully real soon. Uh.